coming to you from the Deep South. This is the Blue Collar Leadership Podcast. High impact leadership is not reserved for leaders, and it has nothing to do with your position, title, or rank. However, it does have everything to do with your character. It's time to climb to the next level and beyond, personally and professionally. Now, let's start making it happen with your host, Max Story. All right, folks, we passed the halfway point in this 30-part series. Today, we're on part 16 of 30, where I'm touching on the some of the contents and related principles that, that are found in my book, Blue Collar Leadership, Leading from the Front Lines. And today, I want to talk to you about what I touched on a little bit last time. What I'm talking about there is how our our character trumps our competency. And remember, I touched on that. Character's responsible for 87% of our results and authentic influence. Competency only responsible for 13%. You got to have a competency, but it ain't the most important part. You got to have character. You could have 10 PhD degrees, but if you can't interact and work with and through people, you're not going to get very far in life unless somebody wants to hire you to s- sit in a room by yourself and do some type of uh, calculations or, or drawing or creating of some type of content or something like that. But that's not very effective when we're talking about high impact leadership. That's pretty, that's, that's pretty low on, on the chart. So who you are matters more than what you know. What you know matters, but who you are matters most. And we talked about this before. People are typically hired because of their competency, but people are typically fired because of their character. And I guarantee you, if I could talk to you right now, you can validate you've seen that in your career. Could have even happened to you. I don't know you, right? I don't know who's listening to this podcast, but I guarantee you, you know people who are most often hired for what they know. And if they end up being fired, it's because of who they are, their character. One thing I like to tell people is you can't climb to the top of the mountain with base camp character. You can't climb to the top of the mountain with base camp character. All you're going to do, if all you have is base camp character, you're going to hang around base camp with all of the other characters. You with me? So when we talk about people are typically hired because of their competency, but people are typically fired because of their character. What I want you to be thinking about is your character serves as a multiplier and leverages your competency. So whatever competency you do have, the way to get the most out of it is character development. It's going to take you so far, so much farther than if your character is poorly developed. you got to have highly developed character. Your competency cannot change. It will change, and it may need to change, but it doesn't have to change for your results to get better. What has to change is your character. If your character changes, even if your competency doesn't, your results, your circumstances are going to get better. That's just simple. It's a fact. It's a principle. It's the way it is. Absolutely, you can go improve your competency and things can get better. But they're not going to come close to being as good as they could be if you were growing and developing your character at the same time or either even in place of developing your competency. Again, you have to have competency, but you, you your character is going to determine what you're able to do with it. It's going to determine who you work with, when you work with those people, what you get paid to work for someone else. It's going to determine how other people see you. It's going to be your word of mouth advertisement for your business, which is you. What are you? What are people saying about you, good stuff or bad stuff? It's going to determine when you get promoted, when you get raises, when you get opportunities, if you start your own business, if you have clients, how many clients you have. Everything's going to be based on your character. Mostly, 87% of it, right? It's weighted. It's a weighted uh, ratio there, formula. So what you got to know is you have far more than you need to succeed on the outside because it's provided for you. Everything 
is out there is provided by somebody else. Think about that. Open your eyes. Look around at the rest of the world. Everything you see out there is created by somebody else. With the exception of what you may have created. What I'm saying, the majority of everything out there is created by someone else. So what's out there is provided for you to work with, to stand on, to leverage, to get you from where you are to where you want to be. The question is, do you have what you need to succeed on the inside? Because you have far, far more than you need to succeed on the outside. It's all out there. It's waiting for you. The job you want, somebody's getting hired for it today. Why aren't you getting hired for it? Or why aren't you being promoted if you want to be promoted? Or why is your team not functioning at the level they could be functioning at? They're there. They're capable. If you're leading others and they're not getting the results you know they can get or wish they would get, what's wrong on the inside of you that's preventing you from accomplishing that mission with your team? There's all different ways to apply this principle. But when it comes to dealing with and growing and developing what's on the inside, which is your character and your competency to some degree, you're fully and completely responsible. No one else can do that for you. That's why you're completely responsible for where you're at in life personally and professionally. Who we are, our character, is the source of most of our problems. It's why most people are fired. We've touched on that. When it comes down to it, who you are matters much more than what you know. So think about this. How do you deal with things that don't go your way? Are you positive or negative? It's got everything to do with your character. Are you reactive or proactive when it comes to change? When things are changing, are you leading the way, trying to figure out how to make it work, or are you being resistant? Want to know why Why we got to change this? It's been working fine. See the two different viewpoints? Are you part of the problem or part of the solution? When change happens, and it's going to happen every day, people who are part of the solution are trying to figure out how, how to make the new the changes work. What changes actually need to be made? Because everything needs to change for everything to get better. But a lot of people are part of the problem. They're not part of the solution. They're moaning, groaning, and whining instead of shining. How do you treat others? Anytime, at home and at work. How do you make them feel? All that's about your character. Who you are determines how you treat other people. Who you are determines how you make them feel. And how they feel, it's got everything to do with your authentic influence. Because authentic influence is based on your character, not your position and your title. When it comes to others, do you talk behind their backs? What do you think about me if I talk behind your back? What's that tell you about my character? Instead of me talking to you when I have a problem with you, I go around behind your back and I talk to other people. And the people I'm talking to, they're also the kind of people who talk behind people's backs. That's why they're talking to me. Because if you go up to a person who doesn't talk behind someone's back and you try to talk to them behind somebody else's back, they're going to say, no, no, hold on, hold on. Let's go get them and talk to them. Or either they're going to say, I don't, I don't want to be involved in this conversation. All that's character stuff. Do you give others credit? Do you, or do you take the credit? Do you want to serve others? Do you want to serve your team? Do you want to serve your boss? Not just your customers. Or do you want to be served by your team? Or do you want to be served by your boss? Hopefully everybody is wanting to serve everybody else. That's a really cool place to work. But if everybody wants to be served by everybody else, that's a pretty crappy place to work. And every bit of every, all these questions I'm asking you now, all of these are related to character development. And again, they're going to launch you like a rocket or limit you like an anchor. Do you show up at work on time or are you late? It says a lot about your character. Or, or do you show up at all? <laughs> that says a lot more about your character. 
Are you on time for meetings or are you late? We talked about that before. If you're late for work or you're late for a meeting, you lied. If I'm late for work or I'm late for a meeting, I lied. When I'm speaking, if a client tells me to stop at 2.30 and I say, okay, I'll stop at 2.30 and I stop at 2.35, I lied. Because I talked longer than I said I was going to talk. But I don't do that. I stop on time. And it's for these reasons right here because what you tell people you're going to do matters if you value high impact character. Do you do what you say you will do? Do you do it when you said you would do it? Do you do it how you said you would do it? All of the answers to all of those questions and a million more are all about helping you reflect on and think about your character. Where is it at relative to a lot of different things? But wherever it's at, it's going to determine where you go. It's going to determine your authentic influence. Truett Cathy, the founder of Chick-fil-A, he started in 1967. And uh, today I think it's about an $8 billion business. A lot of you probably know about Chick-fil-A. But Truett said this. He said, we hear of businesses succeeding or failing, but it is not the business. It is the people who succeed or fail. And it's usually, as always, not usually, businesses that fail are poorly led. Always. And most often they're poor, poorly managed. But they could actually be managed well and still fail because they're poor, poorly led. I saw another quote that says, failing businesses are always over managed and under led. Leadership is about character development, building relationships. Dennis Waitley had this to say. He says, a sign of wisdom and maturity is when you come to terms with the realization that your decisions cause your rewards and consequences. You are responsible for your life and your ultimate success depends on the choices you make. So everything you were ever going to listen to on my podcast, whether you know it or not, I know it. Everything that I'm ever going to be talking about, everything that I'm ever going to be writing about, every bit of it is related to character development. Too many people don't understand it to realize that every everything relative to true leadership development is about character development. Think about time management. A lot of people think, huh? Time management. They think of that as time management. It's character development. You can't manage time. You can only lead and manage yourself within time. Time just is. But how you use your time is all about your character. Your values determine how you use your time. I hear people all the time say, I don't have time. Everybody's got time. If they said, I, don't, I have time, but I don't want to use it to do what you're asking me to do. I buy that one all day long. But somebody just says, I don't have time. We all got time. We all spend time doing whatever it is we want to do every single day. It's our choice. We all got time. If you value being healthy, you got time to get healthy. If you don't value being healthy, you don't have time. I ain't got time to go to the gym. I ain't got time to walk out my front door and walk a mile down the road and turn around and come back. I ain't got time. I ain't got money to go to the gym. I got money to do other stuff that, that's important to me that may not impact and improve my health. And I'm just throwing out some random things to just spark some thought. Everything is founded in character. Good or bad, it's all related to character. So just remember that, what I started out with earlier on this podcast episode, you can't climb to the top of the mountain with base camp character. You got to have top of the mountain character to get to the top of the mountain. So I hope you have a great day. Talk to you next time. Make it happen or someone else will. It might as well be you. Are you serious about taking your career and your life to the next level and beyond? Check out Max Story's Blue Collar Leadership Series books and others now available on audio 
along with paperback and ebooks at Amazon, iTunes, and Audible. Please visit bluecollarleadership.com to learn about Max books, programs, special offers, certifications, and more. Thank you for listening to the Blue Collar Leadership Podcast.